Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you how to get the game Far Cry 6. Working on the Apple Silicon Mac, what we're going to be doing is installing Crossover and getting Game Porting Toolkit to run. And this is going to help us to run this Windows only game on an Apple Silicon Mac. So I'm going to show you the whole process from start to finish, how to install the Crossover application, how to enable Game Porting Toolkit, and then how to get Far Cry 6 working as well as possible on the Apple Silicon Mac. So the first thing I'm going to do is to click on the link at the top of the description for my affiliate link for Crossover. If you click the link and make a purchase, then I'll make a small commission and you'll be helping to support this channel and the content that I create. So once you've clicked on the link in the description, we'll be taken to the store page or you can go to codeweavers.com and click on buy now. I do recommend making a purchase of Crossover Plus, which comes with 12 months support. If you want to get a discount, then make sure to use the promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New and just apply here and then you're going to get a 20% discount. I mean, once already, you can click the buy now button and then you can go ahead and fill out your details. Alternatively, if you want to try this out, you can also go to to the Code Weaver's website, click the Try Now button, then you can fill out these details and get a fully featured 14 day free trial. So that's what we're going to do today. Here we're downloading Crossover 23.5, which is the latest at the time of recording. So once Crossover is downloaded, we're going to go to Finder and then we're going to go to our Downloads folder. We want to find our Crossover zip file here. So all we need to do is double click. It's going to extract. And then we have the Crossover app here. We're going to drag and drop this and put this into our Applications folder. Once that's copied over, we'll click on Applications and then we're going to scroll until we find the Crossover app. So go ahead and double click. Here it's saying Crossover is an app downloaded from the internet. Are we sure we want to open? Press Open. So once this is open, we've got the option to install applications and games. And then we're going to go to the search bar and we're going to type in Ubisoft. And then we're going to install Ubisoft Connect. So we're going to go ahead and install this. It's going to download the Ubisoft Connect installer and then install it into a Windows 7 64-bit bottle called Ubisoft Connect. Just let that finish. So here Ubisoft Launcher is asking us to select a language, press OK. And then we're just gonna go through the entire setup process of the Windows version of Ubisoft Connect. Press Next, then click on Run Ubisoft Connect. So this is the Windows version of Ubisoft Connect. So now it's asking us to log in. We can either create a new account if you don't have one already or just log into your existing account. Click the Login button. We're gonna skip two-step verification. Here it's saying initializing. So now this window has come up and this is basically the Windows version of Ubisoft Connect. And what you want to do is to close the launcher first so that this can complete running. So I'm going to close this, make sure we exit the application. And once it exits, then Crossover will be able to complete this installation of Ubisoft Connect. And then we can also change some settings too. So for example, we can tweak D3D Metal Game Porting Toolkit 1.1 on. We can also turn on eSync or MSync. We're going to use MSync here, which is one of the new features of Crossover 23.7. And basically what we're going to do is to relaunch Ubisoft Connect with these features turned on. We're going to allow Ubisoft to access our downloads folder. Now it's saying it's logging in and initializing again. So now we're back into the Ubisoft launcher and now we're ready to go ahead and download the Windows versions of various games. So obviously not every single game is going to work. I'm going to download the game Far Cry 6. So there's a trial version that you can try this on and then just click add to my games. And if you wanted to, you can also buy this as well. So now that Far Cry 6 trial has been activated on our account. I'm going to press the download button and then we'll press continue. And then if we wanted to, you can also download the HD texture pack. It's really up to you. Let's continue. And then we're going to download the Far Cry trial into our Ubisoft bottle. Here we're going to agree to the Denuvo end user licensing agreement. And now it's saying it's initializing download. So it's downloading 26.3 gigabytes. So just let that complete before we can move on to the next step. So now that the game is fully downloaded, what we're going to do is press the play button here and it's going to go ahead and launch. So it's going to be downloading any dependencies, synchronizing save games with the cloud, then press play. So here we can see the Far Cry 6 splash screen come up. The Windows version of Far Cry 6 manages to run really well on the Apple Silicon Mac. The performance is pretty good considering that this is a Windows title running through the x86 translation layer, Rosetta 2, and Wine is translating Windows API calls into macOS API calls, and D3D Metal is translating DirectX 12 into the Metal Graphics API. And so with all of these translation layers, it's quite impressive that the game performance is looking this good. So as you can see, the lighting can go a little bit wrong. So this is a known issue at the moment. Unfortunately, it seems to affect skylights at night. However, other parts of the game are not affected. Hopefully, there's going to be a fix for this kind of problem in the future. You know, I hope you found this video useful. I've got lots of other crossover videos and other tutorials on my YouTube channel. Please check it out. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.